Very often we are taught certain skills for certain tracks and certain conditions. But whilst techniques are important, it's also about feeling the terrain through your hands and through your feet and reading what's in front of you. That's not so difficult for a track we know, but what about a track we don't know? How do you find flow when you do not know what's ahead? And what more terrifying experience to ride the local trails with double world champion Fabian Burrell. Fab, why is it called 06? Well, 06 is basically the order of alphabetic uh, department that you have in France and uh, obviously Alp Maritimes are part of the first one, 06. And uh, the particularity of, of, uh, of that department is that it's the end of the Alps. The, the, the success of that terrain here is its diversity and mainly its technicity. I mean, you look at it here, it seems to be like, well, I don't know, how would you describe this, this <laughs> geology? Well, this we call that the grey earth, yeah. which is a bit of a kind of yeah. anti-grip, as you guys would call it. And then we get back over on the other side of the hill and there's that solid rock out Crop. Yeah, you, you got many different rocks that they also used to, you know, build concrete and houses with, which, uh, which is a lot of diversity. And yeah, you have a loose part and some solid part that we're going to be riding a bit later on. And yeah, there is a lot of diversity. But as I said, the terrain is fairly harsh. So most of the harsh, riders, did you say? yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like all the all the riders that you will actually see around the area yeah. are actually fairly good riders. They know their. Shit. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Come on, let's try it out. First of all, Fabian, uh, Zero Six is home to, as you mentioned earlier, some incredibly talented mountain bikers. Yeah. We're looking at, you know, yourself and Nico Vulios. Well, that's the first ten, one. Ten times world champion, yeah. five times World Cup Series champion. Yeah. Why though? Why? Is it? Is it, uh, is it in the water? Well, is it just the fact that it's just ridiculously ride, difficult? After riding this morning, you really wonder why? <laughs> 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 I, th I think we have um, a few reasons. First of all, we have a terrain that is very technical. Yeah. Uh, and when I mean technical, it's not only riding it, it's finding the flow of it. Uh, let, let's put it this way. When you, when you make a trail for mountain biking, by making the trail, you pre-design the flow for the rider. Yeah. When you ride a trail that is not designed for mountain biking, it's the rider itself mm -hmm. that needs to find the right line, the right spot, the right move to create the flow. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what enduro, the definition of enduro must be. Yeah. Enduro and enduro racing is about it. And that's why, and that's why there's been so many successful uh, French enduro races. Yeah, I, I think so. It's also part of that, that culture, that anticipation riding, as I would call it, compared to a dial riding that you would have in downhill, um, is, is a completely different style, what, what commitment, you risk, you know. I wondered then whether that was the reason why this area had bred so many successful riders in that they had developed an ability to find flow in such a harsh environment. I also pondered how I would be able to adapt and bring flow in such a place. What's happening, John? Oh, Fabian. Oh my God. Are you was... sweating? <laughs> sweating, my heart rate is screaming. So what do you say to the guys that are saying that e-bike is for lazy people? What do you tell them? Oh, tell them to go back and sit in their armchairs because <laughs> don't get involved in that. <laughs> That's hard. It's tip. Huh? It's tip, tech, fun. Oh man. The thing is, we climbed quite a long way there. Yep. And then as soon as you're getting up these big steps. Oh, lucidity. I mean, wow. You can, I mean, you can probably see. Oh. 
so hard. Yeah, but like what I'm saying is the lucidity on e-bike that you need at Apple is the same as you know when you got a max of lactic, uh, when you got like a maximum of uh, lactic in your legs going down yeah. and you lose your lucidity and then you start making mistake, mistakes <laughs> exactly. going downhill. It's the same thing going uphill with anybody. Exactly, yeah. So you need to find the momentum, place your wheels. I mean, you can take the random climbs and obviously use the assistance as just an extra power tool or you can understand that you can actually climb up things like this. And then that's a different Are you game. really fit this, this, at the moment, Simon? You seem to be just losing me going up there. No, but I'm not fit, I'm just using the engine. You're over spinning when I'm just using the torque of the engine. Riding behind Burrell taught me commitment, risk, and gave me a first-hand view on how the master eked out every inch from the ground. It was flat out. Oh my God. Right, if that doesn't look cool. Now we've gone from no grip to this. Is it sandstone? I think it is. It is sandstone. But uh, wow, a totally different landscape. Well, you see going up, like you don't have any problem of grip. You yeah. have a huge motricity. Even going down when you're off cambering uh, this rock, it's all fine. It's a completely different terrain that you what you have seen this morning. And uh, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's the beauty of the diversity. Like you are within maybe a kilometer or two of distance and you have yeah. Completely different, like uh, nature and, and rock. So, yeah. That's, do you know what we were it. talking about earlier? We were talking about flow. So, my question to you is what do you prefer to ride? Do you, do you prefer to ride that closed race environment or do you like riding what we're doing out in the open? Well, when just just racing wise, I, I have to say that the competition of downhill, getting your line dial and getting the move is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that has its own thrill, right? Exactly, it's absolutely great. But on the on the other hand, there is nothing better to me than finding the flow and picking up the flow in a trail that you ride for the first time. Yeah. And this is something that is very unique in enduro as well. Is arrive in crazy location, other side of the world. You maybe do one run or two, and right away you need to have the flow, the pace to give it hundred yeah. percent. And um, that's something that is very unique to mountain biking. But it's, but it's also a, a core skill to mountain bike and to be able to interpret the terrain because during even during a race situation, the conditions might change. It might get drier, it might get wetter. Completely, completely. And that's why you would see that uh, obviously most of the downhill rider would be good in enduro, but also a lot of the downhill guys that are very dull coming from motocross or BMX, they actually need to know the line. Yeah. They don't like to be blind. They don't like to be in sketchy, not saying, seeing and yeah. see what is happening out of the corner. And all this is demanding obviously a certain commitment and risk going with a certain anticipation yeah. and flow pickup that you have into, into the trails. Flow is about feeling the trail, moving with it, anticipating it, pumping into it and through it. About reading it and measuring effort and speed in perfect balance to attain that sweet spot. Well, it always was going to be an intimidating and at times testing time here in region 06 in Alp Maritime. We went through everything in terms of trails from loose to rocks. You live in some place for e-biking, I have to tell you that. Well, we, we're very lucky, as we mentioned, there is a lot of technicity trails for everyone. Uh, but one thing that I'd like to say is well done on making all the effort. I know you like to come and challenge yourself. <laughs> he's been many years, he's doing that with me. So no, but it's, it's great. It's great to ride with people way above your skill level, just to get some insight into the techniques involved. Right? And again, it's not so much about the skill level, but it's also about the, 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 the want and the need to improve and the challenging yourself, the commitment. Mountain. One person yeah. you should never ever <laughs> discuss commitment with is this man. <laughs> Hope you like this video. Uh, Fabs, thanks for showing us around. Pleasure to have you Amazing. around anytime. If you want to see another video we should do with Fabian, check it out, stand by here. Uh, don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up for this video yeah. and also you can, don't forget you can like, share and subscribe to EMBN. <laughs>